So these body stickers, which you could use as a body tattoo or anything, are so amazing. I use them every single Rakhi and they work really well. It's not like they will just come off in an hour or something. So let me demonstrate right here. Make sure to wash the part where you want to apply them, which for me would be the back of my hand. I'll apply it on this side. Uh, there should not be any lotions or anything, any oils, so that it does not slip off. If you want to go the extra mile, maybe put on some powder. There we go. My hand is totally matte now if you can see the color is even on this one even so that's that uh, however every rakhi i don't do that many efforts you guys know i'm very chill when it comes to beauty so uh i guess i'll take the circular sticker and you have to carefully take it off don't just take it off like that because it won't come in one go because these things are very like these things are very sticky so each piece has a lot of glue so it might just tear so make sure you're taking out individual little arm of this circle because I think this is the only design that's available. Maybe one or two might have come up. So I'm just going to stick this right here in the middle. If you see closely, there are no uh, areas where it's just coming off of my skin. And even the uh, very um, edges of it are very well stuck on my arm. And after a while, if you touch your arm, you might feel a bit of irritation on your skin. But if you just let it be, um, it is going to stay for the whole day. Maybe after like, say, six hours, it might come off. But then for six hours, four to six hours, it's going to be all good. And in the sweat and everything, this stays every Rakhi because I can't apply Mehendi. Henna, it's not allowed in my job. So this comes very handy. So this is a really awesome way. Maybe you're wearing a shoulder cutout top. So you could put these over here. It's a really fun time. So these tattoos are definitely a must because they're just so easy and you're instant glam. Uh, you could also put on a full hand of Mehendi with sticker like this. So just go to one of those shops. You know, I feel like every neighborhood in India at least has this shop which is like stocked up with every single beauty uh, supply thing. And um, they're just such experts that they be start to become pushy. And it's like an uncomfortable uh, experience whenever you go to their shop because they're just pushing products onto you. But then you have to go to the shop anyway because they have a lot of stuff. So you understand my feeling? in your hair that is correct see these ones are even for your eyebrows okay so this these golden things are also part of the sticker so that's cool you take this and you just stick it on your hair like that and it'll just stay how cool is that i've i think this video is going to be a full face using highlighters kind of a deal at the end no because i'll be all blinged out how beautiful is that so for the eyes i've got bunch of different uh, glitters so I've got these loose um, silver and golden ones and these are literally loose it's a loose glitter dust can you see yeah we're gonna have so much fun today and then I've got these uh, square boxes so I've got a dark blue got a lime green this is the one I used on my first day a um, purpley magenta one it's purple only and a light blue so if you watch my day one um, glitter tutorial you know what I like to use as a foundation for these glitters that's right clear lip gloss this is the studio West lip gloss I would definitely say if you are also using lip gloss uh, it will crease in a while not where I'm supposed to put it but on your eyelid it will crease in a while so be ready for that maybe um, take this lip gloss with you so that you can just blend it in a few hours or something like that because I've used eyelash glue uh, before that also and it was just very sticky and it just went very tight and I couldn't really blend it there because eyeshadow glue and eyelash glue you know it just hardens mm -hmm. so, and guys make sure to clean your uh, lip gloss wand after you've used because that's what I did otherwise you'll have pimples and then you'll be blaming me for it so no 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 glitter I'm gonna use is gold I'm so excited you have no idea oh my god guys look at this right now oh my god that's so beautiful what there you go do you see it it's just not very out there. It's very subtle. But when you just move and the light hits, it's like, oh my god, wow, she is glitter. The eyeshadow will act like, a, so see, I'm literally blending the color so well here. And the eyeshadow will act like the base color. Now I'm going to take this magenta. 
so I'll take a little bit of that and then just up. yeah I'm placing it wherever the gloss is it will automatically stick back to loose I'm kind of blending it but not really and what's your makeup look uh, okay I kind of want to be very artistic and do this so let me do that so I've got clear lip gloss putting it on my lips this is gonna be crazy guys this is crazy dark blue and the light blue glitter with me yes I'm about to do this guys yes you guessed it you guessed what I'm about to do after a while you feel a bit weird just wipe it off keep a few wipes in your bag handy and just wipe it off and it's fine and it, I don't feel anything weird it's just I feel like very little, little things are stuck but it's not that bad so yeah I got one last idea to finish up the eye a little which is using this uh, really beautiful copper color and if you don't want to wear it on your lid on your lips here or wherever you could literally since it's a rollerball put it under your eyes because this color is really awesome to put under the eyes right there we go. This is very thick, so you could just take a blending brush or just your fingers to be honest and blend it a little. So even if you don't want to do a little, like any makeup actually, just slightly you could do this. And you see the difference that it makes? It, this just really defines your eyes and brings them out a little. And these are a few ways in which you could wear uh, glitter on your face. I hope you enjoyed this. It was so much fun to make, guys. You have no idea. And I look so amazing right now. I love this. I totally love this. And uh, I'm going to film this makeup tutorial next. So watch out for that. If you want, you could keep up with last year's 9 Days of Navratri, which will be linked up above, here below. This buckle is getting in my mouth. <laughs> I'll see you later. Bye-bye.